fruits and vegetables actually have vitamins and minerals in it that can help our immune system. Good morning. Good I'm not morning. shaking your hand because? Because when you fist pump, it's about 1 20th less germs than handshaking. Gastroesophageal reflux disease, or GERD, that's a chronic symptom. Joining us right now to break it all down is Dr. Rob. Good morning to you, doctor. We get a lot of feedback from the Dr. Rob segments. Uh, he really is one of those people that's very approachable on TV. He's more like a family friend or a relative. I love giving health information and the media work is really important to me. Breaking medical news or just common sense everyday stories like when you have a stuffy nose, I call it horseradish helper. Sniff that and it will clear out your nostrils pretty good. So we get to talk about fun things but also serious things and I really like informing patients and our, and our community about what's going on health wise. Dr. Danoff with patients is, he takes the time to listen to them. Patients love that. I feel good when I come here. I don't feel like I'm rushed out. You know, he takes his time and I appreciate that. I, I could go on all day about him because he's, he's such a great guy, you know? Yeah, yeah I, I feel like I've known him, <laughs> always known him. You know, that's how comfortable he is to talk to. He feels like a friend. The one thing that I can now say is that I'm now in charge of my health. I wasn't like that before. I've learned just by coming to Dr. Rob that my kids deserve a father who's going to be not only live a long time, but be healthy during that time also so I can be a better father to them. And they deserve that. It's a wonderful career, one that I'm very grateful for, and there are many avenues you can use to help people. Whether it's taking care of patients, or teaching, or helping in the government, it's a great career. One of my favorite aspects of being a physician is working with my residents. To see them grow, to see them graduate, to see them happy in both their professional and personal lives, and to see them help their patients is awesome. I love that. My biggest takeaway is definitely compassion. Um, just with the residents, his patients, his colleagues, uh, even strangers on the street. He uh, is the most compassionate individual I've ever met. I don't think I would be the physician that I hope to be uh, without him. So I get this email from the American Osteopathic Foundation and I'm looking at it and it's saying about an award, and I had to check it a couple times to make sure it was for me. And it's like, oh my gosh, the American Osteopathic Foundation, I'm getting Physician of the Year Award? It's like, oh my gosh. It's such an amazing organization. They do so much for not only for students in schools, but for the community. And it's just an honor to be recognized. But on behalf of all my colleagues who are on the front lines, this is just incredible to be a part of that community. We're a family and AOF is a large part of our family. They keep us together.